Hey. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. Betty, I think you'll probably like this story. Are you ready? Oh, buddy. Down. Uh, that works, I guess. Down. Buddy, jeez, <sighs> Okay, so right at that. Hi readers, welcome back to Reading with Christy. I hope you're doing well. Now today's story takes place on a farm and follows an unlikely pair as they become best friends. To find out more about this unlikely pair, get comfortable and join me for this read aloud of Fluffy and Baron. One summer day, someone new waddled into Baron's life. Her name was Fluffy. Baron had to share his food with her and his water. At night, she even followed him to his favorite sleeping place. They became friends. Every day, the two of them played together. Baron was good at tag. Fluffy was great at hide and seek. Both of them were terrific at squirrel chasing and fly snapping. As the summer passed, Fluffy grew bigger and bigger. By autumn, she was a full grown duck. She and Baron stayed close and warm together all winter long. Then spring arrived and three wild ducks landed in the pond. Fluffy watched, waddling back and forth toward the newcomers and then back to Baron again. But finally, she couldn't resist joining the other ducks. Suddenly, Baron had no one to play with him. When it was time for dinner, Fluffy still hadn't returned. Baron had to eat alone. For the next three nights, Fluffy didn't curl up with Baron in their favorite sleeping place. Then, the wild ducks flew away. Baron tried to play with Fluffy, but when she was too busy making a nest, she laid nine eggs in it, then gently settled herself on top and waited for them to hatch. Four weeks later, there were ducklings. Fluffy wanted Baron to be the first one to meet them. Baron's tail wagged and wagged. Fluffy's wagged a lot too. At last, it was time to play again. Oh, what fun they all had. That evening, Baron led the way to dinner. Never had he shared a happier meal. And after such a busy day, everyone was eager to snuggle in together and fall asleep. Baron felt cozy and warm in his favorite sleeping place with nine brand new friends and best of all, his old friend, Fluffy. The end. You dick all day. Well, readers, I hope you enjoyed that cute story. Fluffy and Baron remind us that friendships can come in any shape or size. I hope you enjoyed that book, and I can't wait to see you on our next read aloud on Reading with Christy. See you later.